welcome if you are new, and welcome back if you are returning. You may or may not be familiar with today's couple, Dominic and Kayla, but they are an engaged couple, and they are trying to finish the seven-day wedding challenge that came with the wedding stories pack to be married within seven days, get the inheritance, become sommelier, and then after that, I'd like to move them to a little bit bigger place and have infants so that we can play with that side of things. Now, the last time we came down here, we were not able to buy anything because we essentially got the wedding venue door slammed in our face. So we are back at it again. We're gonna grab a white rose bouquet, just the cheapest one. We're gonna get the floral wedding cake. It's not the cheapest, but it's prepared. We don't have a ton of time. And then we're gonna go ahead and book that wedding for tomorrow because we have run out of time. Now, we are taking our friends they're not really friends, I'm going to admit. They are acquaintances. Like, and then, okay, we barely know these people. I think we might know just like one person down here. But we need people in our wedding party, and we need butts in our seats when we have a ceremony. So we're going to have Dela dive right in here, ask Oliana, who, as you can tell by the relationship bar, she does not know at all if she will be the sim of honor. And it looks like we're going to get a yes anyway. So we've got one down. Now, Dominic does know Makoa, and uh, and he does dive in and ask him to be the ring bearer, and so it's no surprise that we get, get a yes from Makoa, because we're, we're actually friends, and so that works out. But we're going to ask Sayla to see if Simeon will be the officiant. He's the only spellcaster we know, like, sounds official, sounds official. So we'll give him that title, and he says yes, and now we're going to settle back into lunch, and just relax, because tomorrow's the wedding, and... Okay, so we've got a little drama going on at the table here while we're trying to relax, and I don't actually know what's going on because I'm in cinematic mode, just like enjoying the ambiance, but we're going to pop out and see what is happening. It looks like Thayla's a little bit upset. I will admit that originally I missed the sen sentiments message down there, didn't realize that anything dramatic was going on. I thought, you know, things are a little stressful, we're trying to do this wedding in a short bit of time, and we don't know anybody here, so maybe it's just the stress of everything. She's a little cranky. So I'm going to queue up a couple of flirtatious, romantic interactions to see if we just get this back on track. And just right about that time is when I realized we've got a message that says, it feels like it's been forever since Thayla has been romantic with her partner. It could be paranoia, anxiety, or gut feeling, but Thayla can't help but wonder what her partner is up to or who they have been seeing behind her back. Now, I am floored, so that's enough to call off the rest of lunch. We've got our people anyway, and we go home to figure out what's going on. And it looks like Dominic was flirting with the, another, but the only place we were was at the lunch table. So we have to take a look at the panel, and lo and behold, he flirted with Nicola. Now, I'm not going to blame Makoa here because in all the time that I've been playing The Sims 4, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. So, like, I'm totally blaming Dominic right now. And it'd be natural for you to think that because of that, we're going to come home like a normal, healthy couple and we're going to have a chat about what happened today. We're going to hash out our feelings and we're going to uh, really decide whether we should be together as a couple and be going forward tomorrow. And if that's what you are thinking, no. No, that's not what's going to happen. That's not how this is going to go down. Because this couple got together for love. And this couple is still in love. And they are engaged for love. So as far as we are concerned, meaning myself and Thayla, there's really no reason why we can't refuse to cancel this wedding for Simoleons. And, you know, if this couple should happen to have made a misstep and not be together anymore, there's really no reason why... They should have to be broke, too. So, like, don't judge, okay? You play your game your way. We're going to ignore this until tomorrow. Until we're simoleonaires. Now, I let them sleep all night long, and it's like he heard me. We've got the what have I done moodlet, and now we're wanting to confess to alleviate his guilt. Well, no. No, sir. We're not going to confess, okay? We're not going to confess. And here on the other side of the house, here's why. Here's why. Do you see Thayla and the dumb grin? She's fine, okay? We're fine. We're getting married. Everything is great. We don't need a confession. She's on board with our plan to head towards Simone's. Now, right now, Dominic is like, yeah, well, I'm going to set the whole place on fire. But that's not really what's happening here. But he was hungry, and he's trying to get himself a grilled cheese. And in the middle of that, look, look another catastrophe. So I don't know if Dominic is going to make it. I really, really don't. 
And right now, what I really need more than anything is just firefighters to come out here and try to put out this fire so we don't lose either one of these sims on our wedding day. Because <laughs> that would be new and I've not done that before. Now, I know better than to try to cancel out 22 cues to stare down the fire. So I'm going to hope that they will route out here for me and we don't lose anybody. It looks like our firefighters are going to put out our fire. Yay! And that's great because I've not seen a sailor at 10 since. So maybe we'll have, you know, if this isn't really going to work out, maybe we'll have that conversation that we've been. Oh no, we are back. Like, we are back. We don't need to have that conversation. What fire? Do you see this? We are super duper inspired and we are happy. Bye bye, firefighters. So they did their job. Look at this. Look at this. And our plan is back in action. So our couple spent a minute getting dressed and getting refreshed. And now we're going to get this party started before something else happens. <laughs> Our couple is finally here. Everything is going well. They are exchanging vows. Our bride looks beautiful. We've even managed to tick a couple of things off of the wedding ceremony activities list. We've got like three more and then we'll get whatever reward we get at the end of that. I don't know what that is because I didn't get a chance to look it up. And I'm so excited for them to become some millionaires, get a bigger house, have infants, playing with growing together. They are almost there, and then they can just finish up this list. And they got it. They got the challenge. But they didn't become the millionaires. They only got 10,000 simoleons for that. Well, that's fine. That's fine. No matter, because right now, we have got bigger problems. Namely that... We have scheduled this apparently in the middle of a heat wave. So our lovely couple is married, but is also burning to death here. So we're going to take a second to change their clothes into something a little bit more suitable for a heat wave so that we try not to lose our couple in the middle of their wedding ceremony. I'm beginning to get concerned at this point about our guests, and I will admit that in the middle of my panic, I did not come up with a good way to be able to change all of these guests' clothes at the same time. So I opted wrong or right. Okay, hold on a minute, because it is not lost on me that this girl in the pink just pooted at our wedding. And we're at the table and everything, so I just want to say, I object, ma'am, I object. Like, I know it's hot and everything, but I object. So, okay, moving on. We've managed to get that cut the cake um, activity, and I was really, really hoping that we could squeeze in this first dance. But as you can see, we're beginning to have major problems. We have got people waving and fanning themselves. It is really hot. And in my defense, this first dance took an eternity. I actually cut out some of the time. Like, it was ridiculousness. I was really wanting to squeeze it in, but... This was clearly not to be because we were too late and we lost Bjorn. Bjorn had his last dance before we finished our first dance. Now it also took Grim a little while to get here. I cut out some of that time. So at this point, our guests have been here in the heat forever. At least it's not a heat wave anymore, which is good. I try to beg grim for Bjorn's life but uh, that is a no-go and we get this message that our pleas have fallen on deaf, deaf ears. I switch over to Dominic hoping maybe Dominic can beg and I don't know we can double up but no no that's a no-go and grim is not having it. Having no choice and being worried about the rest of the guests I go ahead and end the wedding early. We do not get that first dance we do not get credit for whatever it was we were gonna get for finishing all those activities I don't think and I don't know if Thayla is shocked or like I just saw a little bed above her head maybe she's just 
tired, but as she's walking around, still looking like a dummy, I'm beginning to get worried about her. Now, I'm proud of Dominic in this moment because it looks like he is thanking for people for coming to the wedding, at least, even though this has been a complete catastrophe. It looks like Estela decided to take a nap, so maybe she is tired. Now, I'm going to say right now that I've not had anyone die at our wedding in The Sims, and I don't nev I've never had a tombstone that I've wanted to take with me that wasn't in my family, but I feel really bad about leaving Bjorn behind. So I'm just going to take his body with us because, like, what about his family? What about his wife? What about his kids? What happens to uh, the bodies of Sims that depart on community laws? I don't know all these answers, but uh, we're going to find out. We're going to also introduce ourselves to Grim because, like, he didn't help us today, but maybe next time. Maybe the next time. Uh, like, I'm hoping there's no next time, but he's good to have as a friend. Also, I don't miss that he's made a phone call at our wedding here after he has reaped us. So, like, how rude. Uh, how rude, Grim. At the end of this really crazy week, really crazy ride for our couple, we're going to bring our couple home, get ready for bed, and have them settle in and take a minute because they are exhausted. I'm really proud of them for hanging in there for the week. They did manage to complete the challenge. Did they manage to become Somalianaires? No, no, they didn't manage to do that, but we do have a couple of Somalians, so maybe we can finally fix up the fire that's occurred here in the kitchen. Maybe go ahead and fix up our house since it looks like we're going to be here for a minute. And um, maybe have that conversation about the dirty food that happened at the dinner table. I don't know. I don't know. That part right there remains to be seen because look at them. Look at them. In any event, we hope you like this video. We hope that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Be safe until the next one, and please enjoy the snapshots of the wedding at the end. Bye.